Hello everyone, my name is Agent Paul of Mobile Task Force Delta 7, codenamed Bookkeepers, and welcome back to another SCP document review. In the SCP we'll be reviewing today is SCP-5326, Containment Class Euclid, Secondary Class Godel, Disruption Class Dark 1, Risk Class Notice 1, Assigned to Site 10, Assigned Selection Parazoology. Special Containment Procedures Site 10's aviary has been reconfigured to support habitation by SCP-5326. The outer bars of SCP-5326's aviary has been retrofitted with titanium aluminide and have had an oil-resistant metal epoxy applied. Additionally, a grate manufactured with the same materials is installed under the aviary floor and is connected to SCP-5326's feeding system. To meet both dietary and maintenance needs, approximately 8 gallons of liquid petroleum is administered to SCP-5326 on a weekly basis through the use of an internal piping system. Excess petroleum is to be collected later for use within Site 10, including feeding of SCP-5326. Description SCP-5326 is a group of 15 biomechanical automatons built out of Cygnus Allor carcasses, which are mute swans. Each individual SCP-5326 instance possesses a limited degree of sentience, intelligence, and self-perception, concurrent with non-anomalous, fully biological Cygnus Allor specimens. SCP-5326 does not feed, but has been observed bathing in petroleum. Chemicals present within crude oil may provide SCP-5326 with prolonged substance. SCP-5326 is capable of rudimentary movement achieved through the usage of a timed electrical current to its heart. The heart organ of an SCP-5326 specimen is believed to not be avian of origin, instead possibly related to an unidentified primate. The electrical current, approximately 32 microwatts, functions in a similar manner to a human pacemaker, though the origins are currently unknown. Plausible theory suggests a form of thaumaturgy owing to SCP-5326's background. An oviduct and ovary transplanted from a Gallus Gallus domesticus hen allows the development of eggs, each of which primarily consist of hardened calcium carbonate. Certain eggs developed by an SCP-5326 specimen contain intricate patterning and lettering, some of which contain a message. The following were collected. Abandonment. Master gone. Loneliness. Addendum number one, history. The entirety of SCP-5326 was originally manufactured in late 1869 by William Christopher Anderson, a noted manufacturer of animal-based automatons and clockwork toys. Following October 21, 1861's Battle of Balls Bluff, Anderson was drafted into the Union Army. During his time in the Army, he primarily repaired firearms and artillery devices, owing to his past experience as a clockmaker. After the Confederates' defeat on April 9, 1865 and the eventual end of the war, Anderson became a well-established businessman in the Portland, Oregon area. Aside from his business activities, Anderson joined the Seventh-day Adventist Church and became an ardent follower of Millennialism, a belief present within some sects of Abrahamic religions that suggest paradise on Earth after a thousand-year period in which Christ or a similar figure returns to Earth and apocalyptic theory, becoming convinced that the rapture and so-called end times were to occur shortly. On September 18, 1868, Anderson claimed to have been visited by God who had reportedly instructed him to create animals to repopulate the earth, following wide-scale flooding. It is currently unknown if any other similar specimens like SCP-5326 were created by Anderson. If so, they are believed to be unaccounted for. Addendum number two, update. Following discovery of the messages written on SCP-5326's eggs, Dr. Arthur Bernstein, a current research head of the project, began a period of observation of SCP-5326 and began a series of positive interactions with each entity. Following continued care, three eggs produced by SCP-5326 had the following messages inscribed. Joy. Purpose. Friend. Well, everyone, this has been another very interesting SCP. A bit of a short one, but something to consider. This follows a Civil War era inventor with the last name Anderson. And currently, there is a approximately 200 employees worldwide foundation that is a group of interest, number 1115, called Anderson Robotics, which 
is a paratech firm specializing in the sale of anomalous robots, androids, artificial intelligence, computer programs, and cybernetics. So it makes you wonder if this is where everything started. This is definitely something to look into, and I highly suggest it. As to better understand groups of interest and SCPs, will ensure that if there is a containment breach with anything related to that, you will be more prepared. As such is the goals and mantra besides documentation storaging through SCP-073 of MTF Delta-7 codename bookkeepers. That's it for this week's document review. Thank you so much for listening or watching. And my name is Agent Paul of MTF Delta-7, and I will see you next week with another document review. Bye.